so I can ban Lobo. No, no, Lobo is just like. Okay, Lobo needs that. This is Lobo. Kind hearted Lobo. Oh, we play with Lobo. Oh, no. Loba is a veteran in Face It Pro League. You might have been in his trolling videos. My ass, I love your dick. Your dick is 25 centimeters long okay. and it's fat and I love it in my ass. I need to ask Face It to give me permission or certain random things because I can ban Loba when he's doing this fucking fat shit. Whoa. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. It's my mom. <laughs> Sasa! Sasa! Uh, block this bitch. You might have seen his crazy clutches. Fucking hate, boy! Oh, don't, not, 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 not. Nice, nice the way you kill them. Help me, help me. Okay. I'm with you, Nice, Sick, guys. I don't see him, Lobby. Ah, <laughs> what the fuck? You might have heard the unlucko meme. No, <laughs> no you know they're both there. Man, Mufasa, you need to believe more in yourself. You can't fucking throw a flash and say unlucko. <laughs> <laughs> or you might have seen the drama between him and Richard Lewis. 50 year old, close to 60. I believe no wife, no kids, just fully dedicated to exposing the lies of Loba. He is our savior. He got some hair, he didn't have hair before, but he is the one and only, the true, the real. The one that never say, said a lie ever, Richard Egghead Lewis. So let's check this out, guys. But there's a recording out there of him like f offering to meet me in Spain to fly out to, to fight me to beat me up. He wanted to have a fist fight in in person, dealing with a very sophisticated person. Which, by the way, I don't give a fuck if you use steroids, and I'm sorry you were bullied. Regardless how and where you found him, he is one of the faces in CSGO and one of the most respectable teammates you can ever find. Loba started off his Counter-Strike career when he was just 5 years old. He was playing in one of those gaming centers where you pay money based on the hours you are playing. Loba was already playing well during that age and was dominating kids that were 5 years older than him. With that said, the kids he dominated recognized Loba's skills and immediately dragged him into his first CS 1.6 tournament. Honestly speaking, playing professional at the age of 13 is really impressive. I mean, I was just a kid getting owned by school bullies at the age and try harding to study well. Loba on the other hand was already competing with professionals like Spawn and Get Right. As time passes by, Counter-Strike 1.6 is getting more older and less popular. Counter-Strike replacement games like Counter-Strike Source and Counter-Strike Online took over the platform. Loba was already getting tired of it as they don't really have a competitive platform. Which is true. Counter-Strike Online and Counter-Strike Source had too much platforms like bunny hop maps and zombie modes. Yes, you heard me right. Zombie modes in Counter-Strike. They don't have much competition held either. Loba then decided to work on himself, going on a bodybuilding journey and building himself into a tank. A little fun fact, Loba Nitsa's nickname comes from his bodybuilding career. His original name was Loba Nya, which means skull in his native language. As he built himself into a tank, his body would get much larger while his head remained small. This disproportionate will lead to funny jokes made by his ex-girlfriend calling him Little Skull, which means Lobanitsa in his native language. Thus, the legend was born. When CSGO first released, Loba had been playing competitively and there were quite a number of elite players recognized his talent. 
However, he stayed very humble without bragging about it. In his mind, he just wants to listen to Kevin Gates' new album while playing and grinding himself. As more and more public players started to notice Loba, they would invite him into a more competitive platform, Face It. Why Face It is a better platform than regular CSGO? There are mainly two reasons. The first being Face It hosts competition where prizes can be won and professional players can be recognized by teams like Navi and G2, whereas having a global elite rank in CSGO are very common and less noticeable by CSGO organizations. The second being the anti-cheat system in Faceit is more dedicated than the anti-cheat system in CSGO. Generally speaking, most talents in the gaming platform are usually found outside the game. A good example would be RuneScape. The RuneLite client and the RuneScape HD client are found by external sources and they really did a better job than the original RuneScape platform. Anyways, let's get right back into Loba's story. Loba, please! Uh, next map, don't um, de destroy my p pussy, okay? Don't do this. <laughs> Loba joined Faceit in the early 2015, where there were a ton of flaws in Faceit. There were mainly two flaws, first being their anti-cheat system. They did not have an establishment on controlling cheaters in the platform. Cheating clients like wall hacking and aim hacking is a major issue in CSGO during that time. Cheating clients made the game unfair for professional players like Loba himself. He did understand the mechanics of the game, he did understand the issue of the game, and he did understand the anti-cheat being stupid at that time. Therefore, he will start writing forums on HLTV explaining issues on how bad the current situation is and what capabilities should be implemented in their anti-cheat system. After posting a ton of forums on HLTV, he was contacted by the owner of Faceit asking what they could do in order to fix their platform and their anti-cheat at the time. Loba would give feedback and started doing investigations with Faceit. Eventually, he will start explaining to the Faceit admins on how a pro player plays versus how a cheater plays. The admins took note of his feedback, but behind his back, they would take this feedback and started cheating themselves. This would lead to Loba exposing their support team for being a cheater too, bringing up his popularity in the Faceit community. As more time passes by, Faceit would start hosting tournaments like Faceit Pro League, FPL, and people would compete each other for prizes. Loba did compete too at that time. He even got himself in the top spot multiple times in October 2016, February, and May 2017. However, he found out that players were manipulating the platform frequently. They were either boosting or opening cheats in the competitive scene. Loba himself spot all those flaws in the system and suggested FPL challenges to the owner of Faceit. Let me briefly explain what is FPL and how difficult it is to get there. First of all, to even qualify in Faceit level 1, you will need 25 hours of CSGO playtime. Next, you have to grind yourself either by solo or party that gives 25 ELO points every game. Looking at this chart, you will need a minimum of 70 wins in a row in order to compete in FPL. Loba spotted there are some flaws in the system as players are able to cheat or boost themselves in parties to get there. Loba then suggested creating FPLC which only the top 100 players with the highest ELO can compete with each other and the best of the best can enter FPL. So to summarize, FPLC is an extra step needed to get in FPL. Loba made the competitive scene much more fairer as his suggestions made FPL harder to qualify while talents are easier to spot due to the anti-cheats implemented. 
Luba's dedication in CSGO as well as his contribution in Face It did not go to waste as he will soon get spotted by one of the famous teams today, Imperial. You see, Imperial Crystal and Esperanto had a few miscommunication at the time so Imperial decided to replace Crystal with Loba. Yes, you did not hear me wrong. They took a veteran FPL player into their roster. In fact, until today, there are over 50 players taken away from FPL into professional teams and Loba would have been one of the successful stories. However, Imperial would soon change their mind as one loyal fan of Loba would come in and destroy his career. Have you recalled about Kevin Gates? Like I say, like I said on the other thing, hey, find me them two niggas. Find me that one that can oh, say stuck his dick in me. Yeah, and find me the other one that can say I told on him and sent them to jail. You find me them two niggas, you can blow my mama brains out. Loba was a fan of the singer and would listen to his songs frequently. As his love for Kevin Gates grew stronger, he would start rapping like the singer himself and even tweet similar lyrics like him. Being a fan of Kevin Gates, he would even tattoo Kevin Gates' face into his right shoulder, enhancing the connection between them. This however wasn't liked by many of his fans and one of them would step foot into his imperial career, boasting Loba's past tweets on Twitter to an extent of not filtering any bad languages used and posted in the social media world. This is where Richard Lewis stepped in. This one here. What a hell of a feeling. I'm living large. I'm a hell of an N-word. I'm still in charge. You know, don't know what song that's from. If it is indeed from a song. Uh, take some time out your night. Get some real dick. Young N-word breadwinner need a fly chick. Real N-word like me need a real bitch. Being an esports journalist for over two decades, it is his duty to cover up stories on what other professionals do on a daily basis, regardless good or bad. He would investigate into Loba's life by digging up forums, feedbacks, and social media posts on Loba. Richard Lewis would report all these findings in the social media world, including Loba's steroid stories and his racist comments on Twitter, including the N-word posted by Loba's fan. When we were having the beef, I said that Loba got beat up at school. I didn't say beat anybody up. He was bullied at school. But there's a recording out there of him, like, th offering to meet me in Spain, to fly out to, Sp to fight me, to beat me up. He wanted to have a fist fight in, in person, he was dealing with a very sophisticated person because, you know, he got bullied at school and that, in, that insecurity led him to hit the gym and, you know, he's definitely cycled and all this other stuff. Which, by the way, I don't give a fuck if you use steroids and I'm sorry you were bullied. Like, it's not good. This, however, was taken seriously by the Imperial team and they have decided to terminate Loba's trial, ending Loba's career in Imperial. With all this sadness coming into Loba's life, he would flip his life around by becoming a full-time streamer and a semi-professional player in CSGO. His previous FPL teammates like Simple, JW and Flasha would constantly support his Twitch career by hosting him after their stream. This greatly boosted Loba's confidence as well as his streaming career as he would soon reach 500,000 Twitch followers in just a few years. However, Loba would start taking advantage of his viewers after receiving an anonymous phone call. After that phone call, Loba would start advertising for sketchy sites like CSGO Ro, Clash.gg, Rustics.io, and Hellcase. So please go to CSGO Roll and use code LOBA for 5% deposit bonus as well as you can get 3 free cases on CSGO Roll by using my code and not only that you can get them every day as long as you play on the site. These are all the available games on esports as well you can bet on CSGO games. Once you win you can go to withdraw 
and you can withdraw from their marketplace which is always stocked with skins and you can withdraw instantly so you don't have to wait as well as you saw all the deposit bonuses so please check out csgo roll use code loba and go to rewards use code loba up here on the affiliate code get five percent deposit bonus instant rig back and many more cool things like the vip rank if you want to deposit you go down here and these are all the deposit methods available they have as well instant withdraw with paypal so this is the only site that has this you can as well check out all the game modes battles this is the case battles this is the most played game mode they as well have upgraded plinko cases mines coin flip and jackpot not only all of this they have rain rain occurs every 30 minutes and the minimum win is 25 dollars they give out 25k clash thanks so much for sponsoring loba guys check out clash use my link it helps a lot Thank you. I have discussed about CSGO Row and Clash.gg on my previous video, Truth of Anomaly. Go watch it after this video as it covers how Anomaly got famous and his involvement in those two sketchy sites. Now that leaves us with two scammy sites, Rustics.io and Hellcase. Rustics.io is a gambling site with games like Roulette and Case Battles. <gasps> Wait. I'm telling you it's fire. Dude, that's 300 profit. It's my new favorite site. Rustics has the best case opening percentage. Rustics is killing it. Just one. Just one. Just one time. <laughs> what is happening to the Okay, we're done. We are done. Minimal wear, 5.6k, bro. I'm at 10k. I started with 3k. Last time I risked it, I lost. I'm cashing out. But tonight we're out. We done. We done. We done. Rustics.io has a 50% deposit bonus. Yes, you heard me right. You are able to get an extra $50 for every $100 you deposited. Thanks, Execute, for telling me that. Now let me deposit and let's get rich together. Uh uh uh. You can't fucking withdraw your bonus until you wager 35 times of your deposit. Meaning you have to wager 3,500 coins in order to withdraw that 50 coins bonus. Why is wagering 3,500 coins an issue? You see, their lowest house age game is 5%, meaning you will lose 175 coins to meet that 3,500 coins wager requirement. Let's say you don't want to wager anything and just want to withdraw back your money. You are only getting back $67 for that $100 you deposited. To summarize, you are guaranteed losing $330 for every $1000 you deposited. This is the exact same treatment you get in Skin Club. And this is an insane scam because you can never profit here and there are already victims calling out Loba in Rustic's review. This poor soul literally used the site because of Loba's heavy advertising and they have lost hundreds, even thousands because of Loba's influence. Besides Loba advertising Rustics.io, he has also advertised one of the scammiest sites in the entire CSGO universe. We are talking about Hellcase here. So, what you do when you deposit on Hellcase is you go and you open this case. This case will turn 2.6k into 5k real quick. Let me show you. You open five of these, you wait a second, it takes a few minutes to happen, okay? Uh, not really a good opening, I must admit, in this one. But you go to upgrader and then you show them who's daddy. You go like this, you hit this, wait, we can, you can hit like this, you hit this, look at this, you hit this, watch. Let's say you deposit $1,000 using the code DOBA, you get $1,100. Pretty dope, right? The next thing you will face would be their insane 25% house age. So on average, after spending $1,100, you only get back $825. I mean, it's not the end of the world, right? You still get some money back and you're good, right? Now, let's take a look at what you can get for $825. A nice little Karambit Lore Battle Scar. 
pretty sick, right? Not until you see the bath price. They are charging $825 for a fucking $525 knife. Meaning every $1,000 you deposited, you get back $525. To summarize, you lose 50% of your deposit every time you visit Hellcase. Loba took advantage of his previous FPL teammates for hosting their viewers to him and now he's advertising this scammy site to them. I mean, if Loba were to make an OnlyFans charging $20 per month, it would be so much ethical than bringing his fans to a scammy site taking 50% of what they deposited. All of Loba's YouTube video and Twitch streams was promoting Hellcase. What motivates him isn't your fucking support, it's your fucking money. Do you even understand me? So to summarize, does Loba deserve going into a professional team? Absolutely. If you compare Loba's face it stats with Flasha, he definitely had the potential to be a professional player. If Flasha can go into Fnatic, Loba can go into Imperial too. As simple as that. But can you imagine what happens to Loba if he actually gets into a professional team? His face will appear in tournaments, there will be more people going in his live streams, and this is what his fans will see. Nice. I'm gonna smoke top one after that smoke. What is Loba's in kitchen. Top one. Lurking. Let's go. Loba has a knife. Go from short. The scout on A guy, the scout on A. Can you just flash? I don't know, I don't know. One more B, go cut, B, cut, track. Cut. Okay, I'm out. Default, default. Oh, it's default now. Oh. Nice, Lobo. Nice. Should be out of the kitchen, no? One yeah. Four was on A. Gonna slam. Um, what did you smoke? Yeah, I'm gonna smoke. Nice, Lobo. Bro, I'm on fire. Hellcase, the best CSGO skin opening site out there. There are two codes. Code LOBA gives you 70 cents free and code Daddy LOBA which gives you 15% on each deposit you make. So that's Code LOBA and Daddy LOBA. Join Hellcase and open some free cases now and let's get back to the video. I would genuinely get convinced if LOBA were to tell me straight in the face come to Hellcase and lose 50% of my money. However, this isn't the first time he brings misconception to his fans. I used to live a hard life, I used to struggle, but then one day, everything changed. Thanks to Dual Bits, everything changed. If you want to live a luxurious life, have gold around your neck, gold around your wrist, check out Dual Bits, use code LOBA, get VIP access, get rake back, get all the best stuff on the site with code Loba. They have slots, live games, they have all the games available, they have all deposit methods available, so you can deposit with PayPal, crypto, CSGO, six skins, you can withdraw with CSGO skins, crypto. Make sure to check out Dual Bits, use code Loba, and let's get rich together. He is literally telling his fans to gamble from Brokey to Richie bringing the wrong mindset to his fans that gambling is an investment. Worst among all, he had manipulated the kind treatment of Simple when he met him in real life, editing as if Simple were to support his scammy promotions. This man had already sold his soul to gambling sites and if you want to continue supporting him, you yourself will eventually become a gambling addict and lose 50% of your money in his scammy promotions. So do me a favor and stay away from him.